everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I would like to show you how I made this cowl neck dress. The fabric that I used was viscose fabric with no stretch and I had half a meter by one meter and 40 centimeters. First of all I wrapped the fabric around my waist to check how much I would need for the skirt and cut out my pattern. Next, I took the remaining fabric and draped it on myself to see how deep I wanted the cowl neck to be and how long I want the top to be. I then cut out my top pattern as well as one strip of fabric to use as lining. I sewed the top and the strip of lining right sides together. For the straps I took measurements on myself and cut out strips of fabric accordingly. I sewed the strips right sides together and turned them inside out. I then sandwiched my straps between my top and my lining pieces and sewed this shot. I then cut off the excess fabric at the seam. I also hemmed the bottom of the lining piece so it wouldn't fray. Next, I top stitched along the neckline to make it lie flatter. For the sides and back of my top, I cut out these triangle shapes. I sewed them onto the sides of my top using a French seam. Check out my Zero Waste Dress DIY for more information on the French seam. I checked if the top fits, also allowing for some seam allowance. Next, I hemmed the back and sides of my top with a rolled hem. I then attached my top to the skirt piece by attaching both pieces at the middle and sewing it right sides together. I also cut off the access seam allowance.
I then sewed the back of the skirt shut, leaving about 10 cm open at the top. I also hemmed the bottom of the skirt with a rolled hem. I then attached the other end of the straps to the back of my top. For the closure of the part of the top, I'm cutting out two thicker strips of fabric, which I fold in half and sew right sides together. I also sew one of the sides shut and use my scissors to turn this inside out. I then attach one strap to each side and also hem the opening of the skirt. I cut some elastic into short strips, which I then fold into loops and attach to one side of my closure. To the other side, I'm attaching buttons. Lastly, I sew some elastic into the sides of my skirt for a ruched effect. I made sure to stretch the fabric whilst sewing. And here is the final result. I absolutely love this dress, this must be my favourite DIY dress so far. I just love the fit, the fabric, the pattern and the style because the best part of DIYs is that you can just customise the clothing to exactly what you like. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more DIY videos.